Right, I'm gonna need every faith in myself for this video. I'm gonna need it. I wanna pretty much like custom a pair of my shoes. <laughs> pretty much the inspiration for this video came from an Instagram picture that I put up a few weeks ago. It was a pair of um, trainers that I bought. In fact, I'll show you them. These are the shoes here. So they're like custom Nike Air Forces, like the Jordans. Steel print on them, they're sick. Like they're so sick. They're like my favorite trainers that I own. I was scrolling through the comments and the amount of people that were like asking me where I got them from, like just had interest in these shoes was like mad. Now don't get me wrong, these shoes, like them ones, they are top quality. If you're looking for like quality, the price like pays off. Do you know what I mean? Like it's shown in the shoes. If you want to know like where they're from, head over to my Instagram, might be customs, he's so sick. But I know not everyone can afford them trainers, like I totally get it. You know, some of us on a budget, appreciate that. So I thought, why not see if we can make our own like designer trainers at home? Yes, no, maybe. Oh, I'm a little nervous. Now listen, I am by no means a professional. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Never done this in my life. An experiment, a um challenge, a something to do. We're in lockdown, right? This is a project. I feel like I want to do something. Like we all have time on our hands, so why not like spend it making some like cool ass shoes, you know? Here's a like like material. Like this is material. Mine's gonna. I'm using paint, so basically here's a professional minded amateur. I hopefully they don't look like a toddler's done them. I've not seen like many people like do this as such and like kind of what I do. I did see Roxy though? Roxy did post a. But she, she's a talented queen. Okay, she was painting paintings on her shoe. I. I don't know how. I have to say that great minds think alike because I um, ordered these like a month ago, whenever it was. I ordered these on the Saturday and the Sunday the next day, Roxy uploaded her video. That shit's weird. <laughs> I mean, they are different videos though because obviously like I'm doing like designer prints. I'm basically trying to like do like all these popular Instagram shoes on a budget, just for fun. I'm a little, I'm just, I need some coffee to like, if this has made it to the internet, then clearly it's it's okay. Like I've done it okay. So I mean, if you want something fun to do and you want a little bit of inspiration or just, I don't know, if you have some old trainers that you think, you know what, I've got some spare time on my hands. Let's like get this thing going. And yeah, keep watching. Let's just get into this man. That's wrong. Right, I was about to say ingredients. <laughs> it's not a freaking cooking show, Jordan. Trainers would help. That'd be a, a real good start. I have the Nike Airs, the high tops. And then I do also have Air Force Ones like the norms. These are old trainers, right? I put them in the washing machine to kind of clean them up a bit. I was, I was debating buying new ones so that these could be like pristine, but <sighs> let's be real. A lot of us have trainers like these. I mean, you can use whatever trainer you want. These ones are like my go-to at the moment. So I'm going to like roll with these. And I thought at the same time, like why spend more money if I don't need to? Like we're going to do this as like cheaply as we possibly can. Of course, add the color. We need some paints. I mean, I picked up a variety to buy the brand called angelus angelus i could be saying that totally wrong but basically it's leather paint so they're made for like bags shoes that kind of thing this little guy you're definitely gonna need this or i was reading you can actually use acetone like pure acetone which is like you could get like nail polish remover this is professional leather preparer and deglazer so pretty much this is to clean your shoe and get rid of any like oils dirt so we're like ready you know she is raw ready to like get paint in. Paint brushes as well to of course apply it. I mean, I got like a whole set so we have different shapes and sizes. I also got this tool. Um, This should help us like peel everything off. <laughs> and then of course, I actually have stencils. So these are what's, what, what? <laughs> this is what's actually gonna like put the print on. <laughs> I'm not hand painting that ish. I am not that talented. I just picked up loads of different ones. I've got Louis Vuitton print, which I think is what I'm gonna use today. Gucci print, there's off white. And then I've also got reflective, but I don't think I'm gonna like deal with that today. I don't know. These come with transfer sheets as well, which you'll see what it's all for like in a bit. Just so you know, I got these stencils, the tool and the brushes from the same guy. And then the paints I got from a different website. I'll leave everything linked below, but ladies and gents. One thing I will say is shipping took a hot minute. I don't think it was the company's fault, so I'm gonna keep it real. I think Royal Mail is a bit of a bitch at the moment and everything's taking longer, which I, to be fair, it's understandable, right? I just wanna let you know in case you're planning on doing this, maybe like order now. So you get it ASAP, you know? I think we should just get started. These are about as clean as I'm gonna get them. Pretty white. I mean, it's probably about as good as I'm gonna get. I wonder where the laces was. <laughs> They're just chilling in there. What are we thinking about this, right? Louis Vuitton print, baby pink. Yeah. Mm. Also say hello to our other camera angle. Let's pop it. <laughs> okay, first thing, let's take the like basically the acetone and start to clean the trainers off. Remember, I am not a professional. I genuinely don't know what I'm doing. So take what I'm doing with a pinch of salt. I'm just a 22 year old girl at home bored and trying to do something cool with their shoes, okay? 
gonna pour some onto a cotton pad it literally smells like nail polish remover <laughs> i guess just start to like rub it onto the shoe you know what it's actually taken off like some dirt that the washing machine didn't get on love that oh my god look at that can you see the color of that cotton pad that's a little bit gross isn't it yeah we actually think this is like a pretty vital step to like prep your trainers it's a strong ass smell though my nostrils are Burn it. We are all prepared and ready to go. This is what the sheet looks like. Um, as far as I'm aware, I'm pretty sure that this is the negative and positive space. The bit we peel away is the bit that's gonna be painted. Does that make sense? If I start to peel this, you can see the Louis Vuitton print is staying on there. You peel the back away, you're gonna be painting the back. You peel the Louis Vuitton prints off, you're gonna be painting the you know what I mean, right? Me, I want it like all colored and to have the Louis Vuitton like print as the like space where it's not filled in. Does that make sense? So, right, this could take a little second. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna use my little tool to help though because it's got a nice little like pointed tip. So it should get right in there and start to, to peel it off and make it easier for me because this is gonna be real fiddly. Guys, we are getting there. You see that? These circles though and these need like little pieces taken out of them, but I'll do that at the end. Okay, that was so satisfying. <laughs> you know what guys, I'm not gonna lie. This is a bit of a process. To be fair, I think this is like the time consuming part. Cause you've got to obviously like prep the stencil how you want it to be. It's a little fiddly as well. Like, and I keep getting tape just like stuck to me. <laughs> not gonna lie, this tool is genius. Especially if you're like me and you have nails. It just, oh my God. This gives me self control um, and actually allows me to like do it without being too crazy, you know? Tell you what guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do this and then I'll be back once it's all out and ready. I feel like this can take a little while, so catch you in a second. Oh, let me tell you, that was a mish. How beautiful does that look? Like, I'm sorry. Fab. Next step, I believe, is to take some transfer paper. This come with the stencils, by the way. And I think we need to like lay it on top of this sheet, cut out the bit that we need, lay it on top of the stencil so that it picks up this Louis Vuitton print, print this onto the shoe where we want it, rub it down and it should hopefully like peel off onto the shoe. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I wanna place some of the Louis Vuitton print on the like toe of the shoe. So on this bit here. Sick, that should go on there. Okay, so I have two sheets of that. That's the thing, so it's all right. But obviously I want it big enough so that it does cover that hoe, hoe, that hoe, <laughs> covers the hoe. And just stick it on. I'm gonna cut it down into shape just so I don't have so much like stickiness going on. Cause it's well annoying. I'm just gonna use the back of this tool. What a groovy noise. Just basically wanna flatten this down as like much as I possibly can. Cause I wanna try and pick up all of this stencil, you know? It's a moment of truth. Am I about to peel this off and it all comes off? Let's hope. Let's do it on this camera so you can like really see. <laughs> oh, so far so good. Stop it. I did it. <laughs> the print is successfully on the paper, guys, and it's looking pretty decent, to be fair. Now I've got to like place it where I want on the toe bit here and basically try and get that on there <laughs> i quite like it there i think i want it to be like random do you know what i mean like i want around the edges for there to be like half bits of shapes and stuff so that it does it just looks a bit like i don't know looks a bit more vintagey then do you know what i mean so random right but i'm gonna take a sock and just took this off <laughs> yes i was wearing a draft sock don't judge like stuff it down the shoe though that should be better oh my god yes oh my god that is exactly what i needed Okay, these corners here, I'm gonna do those separately. So I'm gonna focus on just this part here and then I'll add a couple shapes here at the end. I'm just cutting it down a bit more so that I have a better shape to work with. Sweet, I'm gonna stick this down because it's pretty much exactly where I want it. <gasps> Success, we've got one one out of like a hundred. I mean, it's not sticking the best. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of having to use the tool. Like the transfer paper is like not really helping. Woo, that looks sick. Nice. We are actually getting there. Look at that guys. The transfer paper just is not working for me. No matter how much I like rub it, it just doesn't want to like 
do it for me, which is so annoying. I'm kind of having to like peel them off individually, but it still works to be fair. Like it's not like it's completely like ruined. It would be easier if it worked for me, but whatever. Here we go guys, this is what I've got. That was a little bit like trickier than I thought, but as you can see, they are all on there. Now we gotta make sure that these babies are stuck down because we don't want the paint to like seep. <laughs> The moment of truth. <laughs> I think I want to use this, the pink. So, get one of my little paint brushes. Start with a real small one to kind of like get around the edges. I'm scared. I'm gonna go in and go for it. The thing is you can actually taper. I've watched like tutorials, by the way. This probably sounds like I know what I'm talking about. I've watched a million tutorials to like not F up. You can like tape around the edges, but I'm just gonna go for it. You know, let's just, let's just do it. Look at this, look at this. Do you know what, it's actually quite satisfying. I'm literally doing like little bits at a time cause like, I'm scared. <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> I'm a DIY queenie. I'm not gonna lie, I really don't think these stencils are stuck down as well as they could be, but we're here now. So whatever. The thing is on a real note, imagine if this like, actually looks good this could be revolutionary quite fun to do as well like this is quite like therapeutic i mean it's like a little bit stressful at the same time i can't lie <laughs> right now i've done that i'm gonna take a oh like a bigger brush now that i've done that and just go over it all i have a feeling this is definitely gonna need like a couple um a couple coats for sure A little bit at a time, build it up. I also don't want to do like too much paint because I don't want it to seep too much. Do you know what I mean? <gasps> fucked it up, fucked it up, fucked it up, fucked it up. A little circle just came off and I just painted over it. Great. Ta da! That looks brilliant. <laughs> the thing is, I've just thought I've got a whole nother shoe to do and I also want to do like the sides and stuff. It's actually drying so quick. I don't know why I thought this was gonna take like five years to dry and I was just gonna be sat here like, pretty sure she's dry. So let's go in with another coat. I tell you what, I was about to carry on with the shoe. Okay, but if that doesn't like peel up properly, then like who's still we have a problem? I don't wanna like waste my time doing another part of the shoe for it to like, not be good. So let's wait for this to dry and then let's peel it off and we can see if this works. And I'm praying. I have a feeling that I'm gonna have to touch this up to shit. <laughs> like, is it gonna even be worth it? I don't know. I don't think I did it right. Oh! I'm not sure it's worked. Come on. I mean, can you see it's just like a bit messy? Oh, that was awful. Uh, what is that? I mean, what do you guys think? Should I see if I can like touch it up and fix it? Because I really don't want this to be a fail because I was like, I had high hopes for this. Okay, let's take the white. come up with a solution for you. Although I have to be honest, you need a steady hand. Low key at this point, I'm just thinking, may as well have just bloody painted them on at this point. <laughs> now to be fair, I wouldn't have had that talent. That would have looked awful. Imagine drawing these on freehand. Absolutely not. That is a big fat no from me. Let's see if I can fix this. Can you guys see like my hand shaking? To be fair, it isn't actually taking like that long to touch up. Okay, guys. <laughs> Keeping it real for a moment, I thought that was it. I thought you've really, you've really just, you've done it now, haven't you, George? But after touching it up and kind of just like going back and forth between the white and the pink paint, I actually don't think it's that bad. But here it is on camera. Um, the edges are like janked, I'm not gonna lie. For a first time, that's not bad. Like, I mean, if you look close, it's a bit like, but at the same time, I think because like the shoe is like a bit worn and a bit old, it kind of looks very like vintagey. And also, I mean, no one's got the same shoe as you, right? Because like, 
bridge. My mum come in and we were speaking. We think the reason why it didn't, you know, like the stencils didn't come off properly and it didn't stick down properly and the kind of the paint seeped is because the, this is the toe of the shoe and there's obviously holes. It's just, it's basically, it's not a smooth surface. Now I do also want this print underneath this Nike tick here. So, <laughs> so I'd have to like torch you guys and do it all again. I'm gonna speed through this. I will keep the camera on though so you can see it happening. Literally, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. So put the transfer paper on the stencil, transfer the stencil onto the shoe, make sure it's all smooth and ready to go. Um, I am gonna try my best to like get it on there. Do you know what I mean? And then of course go over and paint it, give it a couple coats, um, peel it off and fingers crossed it looks a whole lot better but we'll of course update you guys when that is done. Oh my god. When I tell you that that time round was so much easier and quicker. You best believe it. Applied better, it peeled off better. Some of the shapes are a little crazy still. I need to really go back in and touch up. But look, it's really not that bad. I wanted to jump back on here, not only to like report that to you guys as well, but I wanna finish off the shoe with you guys. I wanna like paint some bits pink and stuff. Let's have fun. Let me just switch this camera real quick so you can see it closer up. I was gonna do the Louis Vuitton print on the inside as well, but I'm thinking to paint the tick on the inside pink. So it's kind of like different, but you're keeping like the pink theme. Do you know what I mean? I mean, to be fair, this is gonna be like relatively easy. I'm trying to be as neat as I can, but I can go back in with the white. If not, you just, listen, this whole steady. <gasps> I fought in October like a paint or something then I just hit my shoe. <laughs> I feel like I'm shaking like 24 seven and I don't really know why. Do you know like the relief that I'm not doing a stencil and that I can just like color in? It's like coloring in like a book. I don't know why that turned into the Harry Potter theme tune. Do I like that? I like that. I'll do a second coat, but before that, you see this bit here? There's like air with like a line and it kind of goes round. I think I might want to paint that. Let me attempt this. Cause this has to be neat as hell. For real though guys, honestly, this is the part where you can just go crazy and just do what you want really, to be honest. I feel like I want to like look at it and like see an even amount of pink and white. Like more white, but like, I wanna be able to like, do you see? <laughs> I'm not making any sense, am I? Concentration in this burst is astronomical. <laughs> Honestly though, for somebody who doesn't know what the frick they're doing, I don't think this is too bad. Pressure, light, pressure, light, pressure. I have man hands though, this is <laughs> I'm not being funny, but that noise that just came out of my mouth should actually be illegal. Like... Oh God, well that didn't go to plan. I'm gonna have to really clean that shh. About the strap pink. I think I've just had like a vision. Listen, bitch, we just turned into that so raven and we're about to paint the strap pink. Okay, girls and boys, I have finally pretty much finished one shoe. <laughs> finished result. Um, I mean, I'll come in a bit so you can see. I will do a final result in a bit, but definitely has taken me like a few hours to do one shoe. However, we are not done because I still have this shoe to do. The sun is gone from outside, okay guys, it's getting late. So I've decided to finish off this shoe tomorrow. So I'm gonna go do some painting, have a bit of fun, and then yeah, I'll catch you guys tomorrow with the final result. Hi, neighbors, all right there. I hope it's not too windy and that you can hear me, it's fine. <laughs> anyway, shoes, I, I can't even lie. I'm proud of myself. Pretty freaking good. Like considering I did these at home on a budget, like, Flies bugs, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Bro, bloody Noah's Ark just appeared, bloody bugs life. Yeah man, just considering I have like no skill in this like department. I don't think it's bad at all. I mean, don't get me wrong, I had like stencils and stuff, but still, I just wanted to do something where like you guys could do it at home as well. Do you know what I mean? You've not got to like make shoes for a living to be able to do this. What do you guys think of them? I'll give you like a close up now. I feel like it's kind of like brought them back to life. Do you know what I mean? Giving them a splash of color and they just look cooler, I think. The thing is shoes right now, like trainers and stuff are so in that it's a really cool time to do it and like get involved. Not gonna lie, now that I have these, I kind of want to do some more. I want like a black and white pair and maybe like a baby blue pair and stuff. I just, my brain is just it's going crazy. Stop it. Can you see? Look at these. Stop it right now. I need to put this one on. Look how cool these look. Keeping it real. Look at them. I'm actually very happy though. <laughs> if you enjoyed, let me know down below. I'm gonna be chilling in the comments when this video goes live, so. And also let me know if you're gonna be like 
dive in and make some of your own and if you do tweet me them instagram dm me whatever like i wanna i wanna see like the video subscribe all that good stuff and yeah i'm gonna go i'm gonna go on my cool shoes see you guys soon stay safe Mwah. <laughs> it's like when a girl gets new nails, when a girl gets new shoes.